What is up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Tyler Goes Fishing. I'm Tyler. Today we're going fishing. I haven't been in this place in a few months. It's the Pond of Dinks. So I don't have high hopes for a monster bass, but I have high hopes for a good numbers day. Could not ask for a more beautiful day. It's like 73 degrees, overcast day. Uh, it just feels good to be outside. Anyways, let's get fishing. All right guys, this is what I'm gonna start off with today. Bass Pro Shop Tournament Series uh, lizards. Uh, you see I got them on sale. You guys know how much I love good deals. $3.69 for the pack. It's a little worn out. Uh, 16 pack. Nice. I rarely use lizards, not because like I don't like them or anything, just because like just never really have. So kind of a smaller profile, which is nice for the dinks that are in this uh, in this pond. Got a little purple squiggly tail. Let's see, does it say what color these are? Uh, green pumpkin. Yeah. Gonna take a smaller little hook on a Texas rig. We're gonna set this sucker up. Just a classic Texas rig, small little bullet weight. Let's go, boys. All right, so there's some vegetation all around here. You see this? It's primo location for a bass to be hiding. And I just threw it right into the grass. There we go. You know, littering really makes me angry, but it uh, also makes me angry when it's my fellow fishermen who litter. So whoever left this, you know, reevaluate your life. All right, lucky corner over here. If I don't catch a dink right here, I have bad hopes for today. almost always have luck oh that was a bite that was a bite i almost always have luck in this corner with a like one or two dinks oh oh got him told you oh he's in the weeds no bro nice not a bad start to today. Right there on the top of the mouth. Texas rig. Boom. Look at you go. Little dink. Dink number one for today. Whoa, came right out. Look at you. We take a photo of you and we'll be on our way. Photo taken, sir. Have a good day. I could have been better at tossing him back. That was awful. I'm sorry, fella. And the plastic is still good. All right, well, now we know lizards work. I think we all knew that though. Cool, let's see if we can get two in a row here. Two dinks in a row, you think, hmm? Place your bets now. Oh, fish. Oh, that was a bite. Whatever it was, took it and ran off with it for a second, dude. Oh, dude, they took the tail off. Look, no more purple tail. I mean, it's still a whole lizard, right? Just minus the curly tail. It is starting to rain a little bit. It's not too bad though, it's doable. Fish. Oh, finally. Finally, another fish. Getting caught up in the gunk, are you? Whoa, bruh. There we go. Dink number two for today. Oh, right in the top of the noggin right there. Right at the top of the nose. I 
Oh, finally. It's been like an hour and I finally got another little dinker. I thought today was going to be an awesome numbers day. Apparently, I am mistaken. But at least now I have a two fish day. All right, little fella, a little bit of a drop. Finally. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. I was starting to get my hopes way down. Took over an hour to catch the second fish. Been fishing for who knows how many casts. I was beginning to think I should switch to something else, but now that I got another one, maybe I'll stick to it. So fingers crossed. Fish, yes. Get over here. Get up here, nice fish, number three. He's got a really red on the top of the mouth. Look at that. Look at that. Really red up there. Oh, dink number three. I thought we were gonna get skunked for the rest of the day. But the fishy gods have decided to give me a third fish. All right, thank goodness. Bye bye, feller. Let me show you, I switched things up a bit. I put this guy in a uh, ball jig instead of a Texas rig in order to see if the uh, hookup ratio would do a little better. The tail once again came off. I believe that's the third soft plastic to have the tail come off, so I don't know. I was getting a decent amount of hits on the Texas rig, but not as many hookups. I probably missed six or so bites. So I was hoping the exposed hook would help with the hookup ratio. Well, I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Tyler Goes Fishing. Uh, we ended up getting three Dinky little bass, but you know what? Three dinky little bass is better than no bass, as I always say. The Bass Pro Shop Lizard did pretty good. Uh, unfortunately, in all three of the uh, soft plastics I used, the tail got ripped off at some point. So there's that, but I, I don't know. They still worked. Got two on the Texas rig and one on the little ball jig. Anyways, it's time for me to go home. I've been out here for like three hours. So uh, thank you for joining me on this fishing adventure and uh, I'll see you in the next one, guys. Peace out.